We're going to look at Instant Film Pro, a brand new collection of presets from the Preset Factory. Instant Film Pro contains 50 presets for you to edit images in Lightroom to get the instant film look. Turquoise blues, matting and fades are what characterises this instant film look seen in Polaroids and Fuji films. With Instant Film Pro, you'll be able to apply your presets and then add further fading, light leaks and grain effects to control and craft your entire image. Now the Instant Film Collection is a set of three different products available from the preset factory. So there's Instant Film Pro for Lightroom, there's Instant Film, which is an easier version to use, one-click presets, and the fades and leaks and grains are already applied for you. And then there's Instant Film Looks, which is just the color corrections for Adobe Camera Raw. So we're gonna start off in Lightroom. Remember, if you haven't installed these presets yet, go to the link in the description below, and it will take you through to a tutorial video on how to put your presets into Lightroom. Okay, so now I'm in Lightroom, I'm gonna choose my image, and go into the develop module by pressing D on my keyboard. Now we've got some shooting tips for you. When you are shooting your images, make sure you use a neutral picture profile with low contrast and low saturation, which will get the best out of these color presets. Now you can see the presets here on the left hand side, but before we go in and start applying them, there's a few things we need to do to correct our image. These tips should be used when using any of the preset factory presets for Lightroom. First of all, we're gonna go up to white balance, select auto, and from here, you can change the temperature and tint sliders until you're happy with the balance of the image. Next, you're gonna to go to the exposure slider and get an exposure that suits your image. Now scroll down to the noise reduction and add some noise reduction in the luminance channel. You'll need to do this if you've been shooting in low light conditions and with a high ISO. Next, go to lens corrections and enable your profile corrections. This is gonna take away any distorting and vignetting from the lens when you shot the image. And finally, go down to camera calibration, make sure the process is on 2012 current and select the profile and camera that you shot this image in. Okay, now we're good to go. So when we look over here at our presets on the left-hand side, we'll see that they're split into sections. We've got fade, grain fine and grain heavy. We've got the instant presets and we've got the leaks. Now there's a certain order that you'll want to do this in to get it right. First of all, you're going to want to apply your presets. So as you can see, we've got presets like Instant 001, 002, 003, all the way up to 010 or 010. And all of the presets also have a variation with a plus next to it, which I'll get to in a few minutes. So if I add Instant 001, you can see we're instantly getting this really nice turquoise effect and a slight matting to the shadows and highlights. Now all of these color corrections are replications of instant camera photos that we found. We've picked out the ones that we like the most, we've replicated their qualities and put them into these presets. Now with these variations, which are the presets denoted with a plus next to them, what this is gonna do is give us a more intense flavor and a more intense matting of that image. So if I click on instant 006 plus, you can see we've got a more intense version. So if I flick through, we can really see the difference 007, and then seven plus, eight, and then eight plus. So you can go through and explore these other options. I think for this particular image though, I'm gonna stick with 006. So what do you do next? Well, next you want to apply your leaks or your fades. Now, if I click on fade 100, you can instantly see this warm fading around the top of the image. And as I scroll through them, you can see they're very, very subtle changes, but help to craft the image. If you want something a little bit stronger though, you can go down and apply a leak. So if I click on leaks 100, you can see at the corners, I'm now getting these really, really strong, warm orange and red light leaks, which are caused when too much light gets into the camera lens and overexposes the film. We've got various different leaks, so find one that suits you. Now, when you've found a leak or a fade that you like, this is when you can go and add the grain. So we've got grain fine and grain heavy. So the difference between grain fine and grain heavy is that the heavier grain is a lot rougher and more noticeable. You might want to use this when exporting for web as oftentimes Lightroom will compress your image and fine grain wouldn't be as noticeable. So I'm gonna choose grain heavy one. Now this pack includes 50 presets, but not all 50 are gonna be over here in the presets panel. Four of them are gonna be brushes. 
Now, if you haven't already followed the instructions on how to install your brushes presets into Lightroom, follow the other link in the description below and it will tell you exactly how to do that. So we're going to click on the brush icon here, the adjustment brush, or by hitting K on our keyboard. And then here where it says Effect Custom, we're going to click on Custom and we're going to scroll down and now we see Light Brush 1, 2, 3 and 4. So first you want to click on the one you want, so I'm going to pick Light Brush 1. You want to change the size, change the feathering and make sure you've got the flow anywhere between 80 and 100. Also make sure the size is somewhere around 50 to get a nice natural look. So once I've got those set, I'm going to click up here in the corner of the image and just drag the brush down. Now as you can see it's giving this nice warm overexposed look which is similar to what we're getting in the fades and light leaks. Now don't use this too much if you've already got leaks and fades applied. One tip is to just stick to the edges of the photograph as well. Now if you're ever not happy with what you've just brushed onto the image using the light brush you can press Ctrl or Command and Z to step backwards or you can click on the small dot and then press the backspace or the delete key and that will get rid of what you've just made. So we can try out the different brushes and see that they just give us slight variations in temperature. Now once you're happy with using your brush, make sure you click done down here. And that will apply that light brush. Now lastly, one thing that's very, very important with these presets and any presets that you get from the preset factory is using the white balance and the exposure sliders to further craft your image. So even though we've applied them at the beginning, added our color corrections, added our fade and our brushes, we can now jump into the white balance and exposure sliders and this will really help to control our image even further. Because these presets are so dependent on colour, changing the temperature or the tint sliders is going to give us a different effect. So with this I'm going to warm it up a little bit and push the tint slider a little bit more towards purple. Also I'm going to bring the exposure down and as you can see this really makes a difference on the image, so make sure you have a play around with that after you've applied the colour preset. And that's it, so we hope you enjoy this new preset pack from the Preset Factory. Remember these presets can be used with the Factory Toolbox, which is a completely free download. Just go to www.thepresetfactory.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, put your email address in and subscribe to our newsletter. You'll get a free download link in an email and you'll also be kept up to date with the latest products from the Preset Factory. Not to mention getting exclusive discounts on new products just for our email subscribers. And one final thing, if you've got a question about this product or any of the products from the Preset Factory, visit www.thepresetfactory.com forward slash contact. Welcome to Instant Film Pro. 